All right, for this video, we're gonna cover synchronized cardioversion. So synchronized cardioversion is when we're delivering a shock to a pulse producing rhythm, and we have to do it at a certain point in the cardiac cycle. That's why we call it synchronized. It is important that we deliver the shock during the normal depolarization of the ventricles, um, if we were, which would be the R wave. If we were to deliver the shock during the T wave, which is the repolarization of the ventricles, which you can't really see in this rhythm, we could risk having an R on T phenomenon, and that could cause our patient to go into VFib. So I have a patient here who's in VTAC. I've deemed them unstable, um, and I've decided to go ahead and synchronize cardiovert. So VTAC, my doses of energy for cardioversion start at 100 joules, and it's going to go up by increases of 100. So my next one will be 200, my third one will be 300, and then my last track would be 360. If this were an SVT, I would start off at 50 to 100 joules. My second one would be, if I started at 50, 100, and then 200, and then um, 300 and 360. But this patient's in VTAC, so my first delivery is going to be 100 joules. So I'm gonna go ahead, and first thing I wanna do is press the synchronize button. So I press this button, sync here, and we'll see that I now have arrows on the top of my QRS complexes. That means I am synced and I'm now ready to deliver my synchronized cardioversion. Now my monitor is automatically set to 200 joules in case I have a cardiac arrest. So I need to change that energy level. So I'm first in this gray box where I hit my, have my shocking button. I'm gonna go ahead and hit energy select. And I'm gonna put that down to, oh, going the wrong way. Um, put that down to 100 and then go ahead and press the center dial. So now I have my energy selected. I have my QRS complex um, synced. So I can go ahead and hit charge. I'm gonna make sure everyone's clear of the patient and hit the defibrillation button, the shock button. All right, so as we can see, my patient's still in ventricular tachycardia. So I do want to go through the process if we were to have to repeat this shock and show you how to do that. Check patient. All right, so I won't need to re-synchronize cardiovert my patient. 100 joules was not enough for this particular patient. So important step that I want to make sure you are aware of. You have to re-sync in order to do their synchronized cardioversion. So you need to re-sync before you go ahead and deliver that second shock because that sync does not stay on. So I'll see I have my arrows at the top of my QRS complexes. Now I can go to energy select and it said it whatever I said it last time. So I do wanna up that to 200. Go ahead and select that. Now I can go ahead and make sure my patient's aware of the seizure, uh, procedure. Again, we're considering sedation. I can go ahead and charge, make sure everyone's clear of my patient. No one's touching the patient. I'm clear, you're clear, and we can go ahead and deliver that shock. All right, and as you can see, this time it worked for my patient. They went into a perfect normal sinus rhythm.